The book is full of moments of drama and really vivid prose goes with that. If I can just read to you for a second um, the description of her temptation. This happens early on in the book and this is when she has visions of devils. At this time she saw, so she thought, devils opening their mouths, all inflamed with burning flames of fire, as though they might have swallowed her in, sometimes pouring at her, sometimes threatening her, sometimes pulling her and dragging her around, both night and day during the aforesaid time. And the devil also cried out after her with grave threats and told her that she should forsake her Christianity, her faith, and deny her God, his mother, and all the saints in heaven, her good works and all good virtues, her father, her mother, and all her friends. And so she did. She slandered her husband, her friends, and her own self. She spoke many a malicious word and many a wicked word. She knew neither virtue nor goodness. She desired all wickedness. Just as the spirits tempted her to say and do, so she said and did. She would have killed herself many a time at their promptings and been damned with them in hell. And in witness of this, she bit her own hands so violently that the scar could be seen afterwards for her whole life. And she also violently tore her skin on her body over her heart with her fingernails for she had no other instruments and she would have done something worse but that she was bound and forcibly restrained both day and night so that she could not have her way. So here we have a very striking and quite um, disturbing portrait of unhappiness, of, un of temptation and also of self-transformation. That moment of her biting her hand and of her scratching her skin actually is a moment of, um, that she can transform from temptation into godliness. And the language here really um, draws the reader in and is very, very, um, I think, very moving and very exciting.